I will be reviewing care of the client with pneumonia. At the conclusion of this video, the nurse should be able to identify the appropriate care for a client with pneumonia. Let's start with assessment. You might find fever, chills, leukocytosis, a productive cough. The sputum could be rust-colored, green, whitish-yellow. Depends on the organism that's in the sputum. Adventitious lung sounds, dyspnea, use of accessory muscles, pleuritic pain, which would be inflammation of the pleura. When you breathe in, you can get some pain. Tachycardia, increased white blood cells, positive sputum culture, and or a positive blood culture. Taking care of the client with pneumonia, you would be monitoring vital signs, checking breath sounds and O2 saturation, cough and deep breathe every two hours. You want to make sure that the person is aerating well and is expanding their lungs well. You would also use chest physiotherapy. Incentives spirometer. You will encourage fluids for several reasons. One is that with the fever and with the dyspnea and the breathing, they could be losing insensible fluids. And also encouraging fluids will liquefy secretions if there are secretions in there. Again, suction, PRN, provide oxygen. semi position, someone who has dyspnea and shortness of breath, you need to sit them up as high as they can go that's comfortable for them in order for them to aerate better. Bed rest, and if there's bed rest, it's very important with the semi position, with the incentive spirometer, with the coughing and deep breathing to get them breathing deeply. Medications, mucolytics, expectorants, bronchodilators, and antibiotics. Here is your practice question. The nurse cares for the elderly client diagnosed with pneumonia. The healthcare provider orders encouragement of fluids. How does a nurse interpret this order? Number one, the order is to provide large amounts of fluid to promote urine output so that the antibiotic is adequately excreted. Number two, the order is to provide adequate hydration and nutrition through intravenous infusions. Number three, the order would put the client into congestive heart failure. And number four, the order is given because the client needs to replace fluids lost through fever and dyspnea. Take a moment to see if you could find the right answer. Number one is incorrect. The question does not indicate which antibiotic has been ordered for this client. Do not make the mistake of reading information into the question. Number two, the question does not indicate anything about other orders for this client. It cannot be assumed that the client will receive adequate hydration and nutrition parenterally. The order would put the client in congestive heart failure. Although the nurse would monitor an elderly person, such as this client, for signs of CHF, the need for fluids must be addressed. So four is the correct answer. The order is given because the client needs to replace fluids lost through fever and dyspnea. The increased respiratory rate accompanies the dyspnea of pneumonia. Thus, there is an increase of insensible fluid volume loss. The person with pneumonia also loses fluid from the diaphoresis that accompanies fever. And that is our review of pneumonia.